since I've watched Nintendo, like my whole life, really, I've watched Nintendo do some things that I, f I found was, uh, thought was questionable. But when I watch Nintendo this particular year, and the way they are going after these people who are running these emulators, I think one was Fuyu or something like that. One was Suyu. Or I, I, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't going to get involved with it. On top of the fact that how many, how many people actually play retro games? I mean, how many people actually do it? Like, You'll get, like my, one of my friends has this uh, all-in-one pack. It's got like every game ever made from like 1979 through like 2000, I don't know, like 15 or something. Crazy enough. How many of those is he actually going to play, right? How many of these things are you actually going to play? How many people actually have the time to actually sit down and play thousands and thousands and thousands of games. Maybe if you're watching this and you're 10 or 15 or whatever age that you play games at in the beginning, maybe you do. But the chances of you actually having time to do this is not very high. And now this Delta app is coming out as number one free app on Apple Store. It's, it's gonna hit the fan eventually. Nintendo cannot keep up with this. Once it starts, once it's on the internet, you're not going to stop it, but they keep trying to do that. They keep trying to stop this. It's making them look bad, really. And what are the, some of the things that they haven't done this year is cared about the customer at all. They do not care about the people who are supporting them. At, in any way, shape, or form in any of this, right? They are spending so much effort on trying to deal with this, uh, protect their IPs, which you're never going to do, especially if it's coming out of China. You can't sue China. Nothing in China is suable. You're going to lose every single time. China does not care. It's just like uh, a, if you're in the cars, like Audi, they literally replicated Audis in China. Audi, huge company, Volkswagen, huge company, huge, one of the largest, if not the largest, one of the largest companies in all of Germany, sued this manufacturer in China and lost. You're not going to win against a country that does not care about what you have to say. Also, with the other thing, they could have turned this around into something that was beneficial to the people who have been supporting them. Now, if you think about it, think about, I don't know what they're doing. They haven't announced anything. They haven't said anything. Uh, there, there was that, that PAL world or whatever that Pokemon was really irritated with earlier in the year. And now you've got this Delta app on Apple. Now, Apple is one of the largest companies on the planet. You're not going to be your Nintendo. It's just like uh, throwing a pebble at a at a mansion, like money wise. Uh, you know, we got billions of dollars in, in uh, Nintendo. We got trillions of dollars in Apple. You're not going to win, right? It's like throwing a pebble at a mansion. Like the mansion's not going to feel it. I'm sorry. Now there is a lot of favoritism with Nintendo. There's a huge amount of favoritism with Apple. Apple has billions and billions and billions of units of whatever kind out in the on the in the world. Nintendo has millions. These numbers do not add up. You are this is not even a David versus Goliath situation. This is so much more than that, right? You're not going to win. And instead of th thinking to th themselves, we're not going to win this. How can we spin this and turn this into something that the consumer would actually benefit from instead of us? Like this NSO thing that people are paying for. Did you see the things that they dumped onto the N64 thing? I, I think it was like last week or this week or whatever. I don't even know what these games are. No one knows what these games. I mean, a few people probably played these games back in the day. They're not even putting good games on these system, these services anymore. They were paying for the services. I don't really play a lot of multiplayer on Nintendo. Actually, I don't even remember the last time I did. It was probably Splatoon, which is fairly decent. The number one thing that you hear about with the multiplayer with Nintendo is how bad is it. How bad it is. They have affiliations with Microsoft. They have affiliations with Sony. These two companies rarely have issues with their, their servers and stuff like that. Nintendo sucks at it. One of the one of the things that you like hear about Nintendo employees complaining about is even in Nintendo, their internet is terrible. So they don't put money into that. They put money into these lawsuits. That, oh, like, oh, you won against Fuyu. Who cares? There's another Chinese company right behind them. You're never going to win that battle. Work on your infrastructure. Talk about how you brought 
better uh, stability and everything to these uh, online servers that you have for this NSO that people are paying for. One of them's like $100 a year or, or like, I forget what it is. I don't know. I forget what the prices are. The, and when you brought that out, that was for games that have been out for years now. It's like, it's like there's nothing really new added to this. So what are we paying for? Why are we paying for this? Instead of like using this to say like, all right, so like we know these emulators are out there. There's nothing we can do about that. Maybe even have like a Nintendo Direct or whatever because you got nothing else coming out this year. You're remaking games because you have nothing else in the pipeline right now. You couldn't even bother to tell people that knew that the Nintendo Switch whatever or whatever they're going to be calling the next system is coming out this year. But now we know it is not. Why do we know that? Because of word of mouth, not because of Nintendo. They, they, you know, think of how many games that they are sitting on. Even if there's copyright things that they got to pay. I mean, what, I mean, what's it like six figures, maybe, maybe to buy these, you know, copyright, maybe. Think about how much money you can make. Instead, you know, just putting a commercial out there that says, you know, we know, some of this stuff is going on, but we've added all of these games to NSL that you were looking for anyways. They could, I guarantee they can look up what's the most pirated or emulated games of theirs. I guarantee you can look that up and put that on the NSO service. Instead of nickel and diming everybody and protecting their IPs, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing to protect your IPs, but you're never going to win once it's on the internet. The internet does not care, folks. The internet is the internet. It's only going to get worse, worse, especially with AI and everything coming, you know, full full force here. You're not going to win that battle. So instead of turning it around and, and giving people the games that they're emulating anyways and putting it on the NSO service that people are paying for anyways and probably doubling or tripling the amount of NSO service or uh, subscriptions that you have on this hugely good performing system that has nothing coming out this year. I mean, who, how many people actually played that princess whatever game? How many people actually played? How many people? I mean, I know it was supposed to be a good remake, but how many people actually played Mario RPG? How many people are actually going to buy and dust off their Nintendo Switch for uh, this Paper Mario thing that, that come out? I have, I have been playing Nintendo for my whole life, basically. I have not even played a, a, a Paper Mario. Will I ever? I don't know. Probably not going to buy this game. Maybe I will. I don't know. But even if I do, what do you have coming out after that? Why couldn't you turn this into something beneficial? Like we know that we're having kind of a, a light year. Everybody knows it. Instead of admitting it and just like using that to an advantage of like, because of this, we're going to put all of these games on as an NSO service for the rest of the year. Instead of having people dust off their switch, they're watching them spend all their money to sue these other companies. Like, okay. This is, a, this is all Nintendo News is, is now, is Nintendo is going after this company, this company, this company, instead of Nintendo knows that they're having a little bit of a light year and they're going to be putting X service or X games out for the rest of the year. They can have a lineup. I guarantee they've got this stuff already in the works. I don't know how hard this is. I, this is not my thing to do. But Nintendo certainly has made a lot of money off the Nintendo Switch over this past seven years. I'm sure they got a little bit extra cash. They don't even have two systems that they're supporting anymore. They used to have two systems that they were supporting. They don't even have that anymore. So they got one collective unit that they're working on. And they can't even get uh, games out on their systems that you've heard of. Now, I was I had a Nintendo 64 and I was working at that time and I used to buy games like every Friday, every, t every day, every Friday when they would come out. I would buy a new one. But I actually don't remember that many good games on the Nintendo 64. I just remember it was such a hard thing to get that I would, couldn't believe I actually got one. Instead of correcting these mistakes, they, they go after companies that they're never, you, you might, you oh, you won against this company. Congratulations, buddy. There was one right behind it the next day, if not the same day. And how much money is that actually taking from you anyway? You know, that it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to go onto eBay, look at how jacked up the prices are on a lot of these older games, 
that I had that I'm kind of irritated that I sold. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that if somebody, if, if, if you're not a huge collector, they're, they're not gonna do this, but people who just wanna play the game, if they know that they can spend, I don't know however much money a year, like less than $100 a year, and they can play all of this game, all of these games, and they don't have to spend 100, 200, 300, $1,000 on one game, do you think they're gonna do that? I, I would, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. How is this, like, how is this not running through their minds? Now, I know Japanese people are very, very stuck in their ways and they're going to just do things, you know, or the ninjas are coming after, or whatever. But my, God, I mean, how is this the, I don't even know if it's on the table. I don't even know if they've considered this. Who knows? Because they don't talk to anybody about anything anyways. It's like the worst relationship you could be in. They just keep doing this stuff. They don't care, it seems, about the consumer. And I know they don't want to have overhead. But there's got to be somewhere in between that they can figure this out. Like between having way too much overhead, which ironically they have with Amiibo now, and nothing on the shelf. Or you got to go beat up your grandmother. A beat up a grandmother somewhere just to get her amiibo. You know, it's ridiculous. It doesn't matter. Because people are going to buy these games anyways. I don't play Pokemon. I think it's a terrible series. But I know this last Pokemon supposedly barely worked. And it was like the best selling Pokemon ever. So why, why would they change? People don't vote with their dollars. They just vote. They just go buy this stuff regardless. And this is how these companies always get away with this. But uh, can you imagine how much more money you would make as Nintendo if you were putting out a Nintendo Direct tomorrow saying, look, we know this all happened, but we put it on our NSO service. We're not even going to change the price. Can you imagine how many more subscriptions they would get? I don't know what the subscription base is now. And I don't really think too many people, other than like Mario Kart and Splatoon, and uh, that Smash Brothers thing. Other than those three, how many people really need online for Nintendo? Like the hardcore online gamers. A PC Master Race, like I got over here, I got the, like this machine that would eat like any council out there for breakfast and not even know that it did it. And you don't even have to pay an online, like a monthly thing on that. Just my food for thought, but like watching Nintendo through this whole thing, it is pathetic. It really is pathetic. They, it's just like, they're so worried about something that they can't control. And they have, this is like such a bad image. Like this is probably why they barely did anything against this Delta app. I don't even know if they can. I don't even legally know if they can. Because I think on their website it says you're allowed to download the ISO off your own cart or whatever. So, like, that's really a gray area that you created here. Ah, uh, whatever. I, I, I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments uh, down below. Uh, what, what do you think? Am I wrong here? I, I mean, I just, I can't imagine a company this large not thinking, like... We got this huge fan base. We got all these IPs that people obviously want to play. Otherwise, they wouldn't be emulating them. Why don't we do something with that? Instead of constantly suing these companies. That you're, you, yeah, you won one lawsuit. Can, you know, pat yourself on the back. There's like 30 other companies behind it. All out of China. <sighs> anyway. Talk to you in the next video.